What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, this is going to be a quick one today. This is how to mine Raptorium on uh, Hive OS. So let me flip on over here and, and show you what's up. Obviously, you will need to have a Hive account. And once you have your Hive account, click in to go inside of your actual farm. So this is my farm right here. Uh, I'm clicking on that. And if you don't know how to already add a rig and all that kind of stuff, um, you once you get to this point, you'll need to click on Boom create a new farm and then it'll show up right here when you click on this there'll be nothing inside of here and then you'll need to add a new worker if hive will load so you click on add a worker uh, and then you can add a rig and then install new and then it'll prompt you for uh, downloading software to put a usb drive and it'll, you'll flash it then you'll take that usb drive plug it in the rig fire it up and then it'll show up here and it'll show up normally with nothing mining so you'll just click on the rig and you'll be like mm, i need to fire up a flight sheet on that bad boy so you'll go over to flight sheets and then you'll click right here on flight sheets and the big thing is you want to add a new flight sheet so the coin you want is rtm or sorry yeah rtm that's a uh, raptorium then you'll need to click on add a wallet because you don't have a raptorium wallet in there yet so you'll put your Raptorium address there. Um, you can use, I believe, Zellcor uh, supports Raptorium. There's also the official Raptorium wallet. And then some people mine straight to exchanges, which you can also do also, even though they don't, they don't want you to. Uh, so you put your address in there, your name for your actual wallet. And then the next time, if you ever need to go set up another one, you'll just already have it saved. Then the pool, you can, they already have some filled in here, flock pool our planet supernova or you can configure in minor if you want to use a different pool than that um so pick whatever you want and then if you pick a pool it'll ask you if they have different servers inside the pool you just click the closest one to you so i'm in the us so i would click north america and then apply and then for the minor i was previously using the cpu minor opt but I am testing out some of the uh, the XM rig. So that's another miner that's come out, also wild rig. I would suggest probably using CPU, CPU miner. It, it seems to be uh, better on AMD, a little bit worse on Intel, but it's been used longer and it's it's got more, I don't know, backing to it maybe. Maybe that's the right word. I don't know. Once I, once I find out more about the XMR rig or XM rig, I'll, I'll do a video on that. For now, you're going to do CPU miner OPT, create the flight sheet. Then you'll click back over here on workers. You'll click on your worker again, and you'll go to flight sheets. You'll find your flight sheet that you just saved, and then you'll click the rocket ship. Once you click the rocket ship, it'll show like a green bar up here at the top. Like it has applied, blah, 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 blah. And then you go back to overview, and it'll eventually fire up and start mining. Now, unlike GPU mining, it's not going to have anything right here. It's going to have your stats up here at the top. So CPU miner OPT slash GR, Raptorium, um, and then it's got your hash. Your hash rate on Raptorium fluctuates pretty heavy, heavily. Um, and when you first run this miner, it's got to do a full tune. It only has to do that one time, but it can't be interrupted. Um, I believe it's like 100 and 60 minutes or something like that 180 minutes anyway um to see how long your tuning time is you can actually click on remote access hive shell start then that'll that'll start thinking right here you let those little dots roll 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 because a lot of people are like man i don't know how long my tune is if you turn it off while it's tuning and you start it again it has to do a full retune again it doesn't pick up where it left off um Give it one second, it'll pop up here. Sorry about that. All right, so now once Hive Shell is started, see this little white win or white box with the arrow? You click on that, it'll open a new window. Inside this new window, window you're going to type in M-I-N-E-R, minor, hit enter. And then it's going to show up your actual minor mining Raptorium. If it is still tuning, at the end of every single line, it'll say 150 or 140 or 130 minutes left. It'll tell you how long it's got till the tune's done. And then after the tune's done and it saves it, you can turn the computer off, you can turn it back on, and it's going to use that same tune. So 
A lot of people are getting tripped up about that. Um, if you're GPU mining on the same one and you type this in and you don't see the CPU miner, to switch, if you look down in the bottom right, it'll actually say switch is control A plus A. So we'll go control A A. And there's no other window because I'm not GPU mining on this. So it's not, there's nothing to switch to. Now, when you're done with that, you can just close out that window, leave, close that bad boy out, and let her get to running. Uh, depending on what pool you're using, uh, like on, for example, on Flock Pool, you can go over to Flock Pool and to see my miner, I just type in your address there and click on, you know, search, and it'll pull up um, your average hash rate, your hash rate now, and you can go down to your rigs. Uh, it go off of your average hash rate for your CPUs because your 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 now hash rate fluctuates so much because this algorithm has a bunch of different cycles and in, built into it essentially, like different algorithms is what it is. Um, so it'll go up and go down. But your average, that's what you need to concentrate on. So I think I, I think I knocked that out of the park. It's only been six minutes. Hopefully uh, you, don't, you guys don't have any questions. Uh, I'm going to get back to working on my car because um, I'm trying to get the suspension done on that. But I kept getting requests for how to do Raptorium on Hive. Um, I've noticed running my AMD CPU specifically, but uh, running on Hive, uh, like a dedicated CPU mining rig, seems to run better than on Windows. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't want to pay for it on Hive. If you have no GPUs inside of that rig and it's only a CPU mining rig, it'll only cost you one penny a day. So that's 30 cents a month to run that on Hive. And um, being that you may pick up 5, 10, 15% efficiency, taking it off Windows, going to Hive, it may be worth it. It may not be worth it. That's something you have to think about. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Adios. All that kind of stuff. Bye.